Megan, thank you. A NASA spacecraft is scheduled to arrive on Mars this Monday. The InSight lander will closely study the deep interior of the planet, but as CBS 2's Chris Martinez explains, it first must survive a difficult landing. Liftoff of the Atlas V. Nearly seven months to the day NASA's InSight lander launched from California, the 800-pound spacecraft is finally reaching its destination, and the toughest part of the journey is still ahead. That's actually the camera where we're going to get our first picture. Farah Alabey is part of the engineering team that designed InSight's instruments. She says data from the mission will reveal more about the red planet's core. That is, if it survives its seven-minute landing in one piece. We call them the seven minutes of terror because at that point, there's nothing we can do. NASA scientists estimate the spacecraft will enter Mars atmosphere at just over 12,000 miles an hour. A supersonic parachute deploys first to slow the descent, then InSight drops from its heat shields about a mile above the surface, free-falling until reverse thrusters put on the final brakes. They pulse about 10 times per second to softly slow the descent and get us down to about five miles per hour at touchdown. InSight will then deploy solar panels and get ready for work, using a robotic arm to place a seismometer and a heat probe on the Martian ground. Those tools will track the planet's temperature and measure quakes if they end up as planned on a flat surface. We have one shot, we have to do it well, um, and we can't, you know, if we end up being on the little rock or something, and then that could actually affect our science. If it all goes well, scientists expect InSight to beam back critical information for at least the next two years, helping pave the way for a manned mission to Mars. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Pasadena, California.